Emotional intelligence is the ability to identify and manage your own emotions and those of other people. EQ is not new to Hogan. In fact, Hogan has pioneered research on emotional intelligence, except uh, we didn't call it emotional intelligence. Some people have more social skills or more people skills than others, and that's not something new. It wasn't invented by Daniel Goleman or, or uh, Mayer and Salovey. It wasn't invented by psychologists. It wasn't even invented by the you know Greeks or the Italians. Everybody has known this all the time. This is the first time, though, that we provide some systematic and rigorous research methodology and a proper conceptual model to understanding how social skills or people skills should be organized and classified. So basically there are three key components. Uh, it's about perception, it's about control, and it's about sharing. And the most interesting uh, stuff about emotional intelligence is that it's almost completely independent of IQ. Uh, for almost a hundred years, psychologists have co uh, focused on IQ uh, and thinking that it's the most important uh, thing in uh, business performance. And actually, IQ is only relevant to solving maybe five or ten percent of the problems we encounter in everyday work because most problems are ill structured and most problems involve people. Uh, so, the ability to solve mathematical problems or logical problems or problems that are well defined is almost completely unre unrelated to the ability to solve problems related to people. Uh, what should I do with my colleagues? What should I do with my boss? How should I act in this situation with a client, with customer service? With uh, Every single job and every single organization depends on their people and the ability to manage and deal with people is dependent on emotional intelligence. It's really important that businesses assess the emotional intelligence level of their managers and leaders, uh, first of all, because a lot of leaders and managers get promoted to positions of power because of their technical expertise, because they are skilled or uh, knowledgeable in uh, an area uh, relating to their hard skills, so they will be good engineers or good technical people or so good IT managers, but maybe they just don't know how to deal with people. So uh, it's not just that they should assess the emotional intelligence level of their managers, they should not promote people who have very low emotional intelligence. Most people will be somewhere average, so assessing their EQ is important in order to provide them with feedback and increase their strategic self-awareness, help them understand what the strengths and weaknesses are, and that will improve their ability to manage people, which will improve their leadership effectiveness. A lot of the EQ tests, if not most of the EQ tests that are out there in the market, have not been validated in the context of uh, business performance. So, you know, most of them have been validated by academics. And what they did is they just took a bunch of students and asked them questions in exchange for credit uh, participation. So, you know, so it's very difficult to actually learn or identify anything that is relevant to businesses by dealing with students. So uh, our point of EQ meets big data is that we developed this EQ assessment um, in a, a, a very systematic, empirical and data-driven way by um, going back historically to our data archive and looking at data for hundreds of thousands of people uh, who had completed managers or actual employees who had completed valid measures of personality. And basically, whatever you hear about EQ, the, the only thing you need to understand is that it's an aspect or an element of people's personality. So how does our knowledge of people's personality translate into this EQ model? Well, our data has helped us identify the main set of behaviors, thoughts, preferences, values and dispositions that make some people better able to deal with others. And uh, we call this EQ means big data because our big data set is empirically keyed against reputation. So our data set helps us predict how people are likely to see you at work. It's not about EQ in the sense of self-perceptions. Uh, most people are deluded about themselves, not just about their emotional intelligence, but their IQ, their uh, driving capacity, their uh, you know romantic charms, their ability to do pretty much anything. So we can't rely on people's self-perceptions. We simply provide people with a number of statements, interview-like questions that are normed and benchmarked and standardized, and we interpret their answers 
only in light of how people who provide similar answers have behaved in the past. So effectively you're being compared against uh, uh, thousands of people and what we can tell is based on your answers, what is the probability that you will be seen as emotionally stable, what is the probability that you will be seen as uh, charismatic, influential and so forth. So that's the big data approach to EQ. Thank you.